Look what I've got. To some of you, this is probably best utilized to open paint cans. But to me, this works as a bottle opener. That means, that's right, it's Thursday, and that means yet another edition of Sip and Snack. And I want to make this very colorful. I say this as I'm wearing an all-white t-shirt. But the Andy Warhol-esque Tyler Breeze pictures right in front of me probably make it a little bit more colorful, so I guess the, the shirt kind of fits. So we are focusing on colors today. Um, the reason why is because everything has a different color to it. And it's funny because... The drinks, the sips that we're going to do today, are all brands that have already been on Sip and Snack in a completely different manner. The snack, on the other hand, something completely different. Something I've had before in a different means, but completely different. So, let's uh, start off with our sips this time around. We have three. They're three different color beverages, and we're going to start off with Frosty. Frosty is actually a root beer that I did on the root beer special uh, a couple weeks ago. And Frosty also has a blue, or in this case, blue, cream soda. So, Walter White approved cream soda. So, yeah, I, this homeless man is Santa Claus. That's not Santa, that's a homeless man. That's purely speculation. So, um... I do not have a taster glass today, I completely forgot it, so I do have this uh, palate cleanser. We're going to pop this open. It's getting easier every time. And the first thing I smell, oh my dad, that's blue, or blue. I got to get used to that because obviously it's not blue, it's blue. So uh, let's see what we got here. This is a blue cream soda. Uh, this is not something I'm looking forward to. Oh, oh, oh my god. Um, get that away. It tastes like medicine. Oh, I know a lot of you out there love the Sir Owen Bitter Beer Face. That's it. I'm dumping that down the drain. Um, unless somebody wants it. Um, yeah, that, that's horrible. I'm trying to see if there's a, a expiration on it. Uh, yeah, I can't understand that. Yeah, that doesn't work. Um, this thing's been sitting downstairs in the basement on the, uh, table downstairs when you first walk downstairs. Um, you guys remember my basement I showed you a while back when I showed you the trough and then it's in my basement a long time ago? Yeah, this, this is terrible. Terrible. Oh my god, terrible. Blue cream soda. Not a good idea. So... Okay, we got our kicks before our Route 66 uh, root beer, and lo and behold, we have Route 66 sodas. They're made with real cane sugar, just like the uh, Route 66 root beer was, but I have lime. So, uh, lime here, and uh, it says, chosen by soda jerks every time. Um, we'll see if it works for me, and this is interesting. There's a chain of rocks bridge. You can barely see that, but it's there. Let's try this. Um... Lime soda. <laughs> Gotta be better than that ugly monstrosity that I just had. Oh, that's on the keyboard. That's not a good thing. I love the Route 66 gimmick because it's got the really cool labels on the uh, actual bottle caps. So, uh, let's see what we got here. Hold on. Not as bad. Um, Liquid version of an ice pop. Or flavor ice, uh, you know, like the ice pops you would get when you were a kid, and some people get now because they're still awesome to this day. You basically have like these liquid tubes, or it's done in a lot of different ways, but basically you have like these liquid tubes, they're complete liquid, you freeze them in, and when you take them out, you basically eat them like they're popsicles. That's what this tastes like. It tastes like a lime one of those. Um, it's okay. Nothing to write home about. I saved the best for last because obviously, who likes orange soda? Forget Kel. Suro and Disney likes orange soda. So that's what we're going to have here. And um, this one is talking about Dead Man's Curve. That bodes well for this. I don't see any skull and crossbones on this. So, uh, yeah. Let's uh, talk about this. Uh, obviously, these are landmarks around uh, Route 66. That's the gimmick on the back of it. it makes perfect sense. So let's uh, pop this top and see what we got here. 
Well, that 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 looked fun. Wonderful. And yes, on camera, it is proven that Sir Owen Disney does not know how to use a bottle opener. That's the reason why I can't do this on camera. You guys are laughing at me right now, and I'm gonna laugh at myself here. Not the easiest. You have to work harder for something you like. Words to live by. Mm, that's not vodka. That's water. Um. Yeah, okay, smells just like orange soda. It's going to taste like a ice pop that's orange. Orange, I love the flavor of orange. I love the taste of orange. I don't eat oranges. Yeah, do, do I look healthy? Seriously, come on. But yeah, this is, I'm sure this is going to be great. Let's, let's hope that I'm not wrong. Yeah, it tastes like a liquid version of one of those frozen ice pops. Um... It's kind of bitter, though. Um, not really... A little bit more here. Um, yeah. This was not a success when it comes to any of these sips today. Let's hope the snack is different. Inamon! Inamons do have some really awesome donuts. And apparently they also are into uh, snack foods. And this brings up this pack. These are called... Little bites, little bite-sized muffins, basically. Um, pretty much these are these are party cakes, so it's it's party time. And I should be playing the party boy theme right now. I should I should have thought about that before I started this. Could have like the disco lights, and I could have the the dubstep music or the party boy theme. The party boy theme is better than dubstep anytime. It's the closest I'm gonna get to liking dubstep. Um, these are basically like they're muffins, kind of like I would guess maybe like yellow cake muffins with what it looks like from the picture, which is, this is pretty wicked, so check this out. It looks like Funfetti, kind of like what you have on frosting. And there's this, I think that's a dog, yeah, that's a dog. There's this dog, and um, he looks really crazy, and I, uh, he's got, he doesn't have an owner, basically, is what it looks like. He's just chilling out on the uh, yellow brick road, yeah. I think someone should sue for gimmick infringement. Um, obviously, anything that's new is tried on Sip and Snack as long as I can taste it. These pouches can be recycled. That's awesome. Let's see what we got here for these uh, Funfetti muffins. I'm sure these are actually going to work really well. Because I like stuff like this. Oh, they smell good. Let's see what we got. They look like this. Um, I think that's a tad bit flattened. <laughs> I swear to you, they're just sitting in a box in, like, in my kitchen, and I don't know how they got flattened like that. I mean, are the rest of them like this? Come on. Let, let's see, for sake of argument. Uh, no, that's a little bit better, um, but I'll try the flattened one. You see the Funfetti here. So let's see what we got. This looks good. Let's see if it tastes good, too. That's good. That's really good. Like a rainbow of flavors in my mouth. Keep keep that blue soda out of my Ugh God. I'm gonna shudder look at that. I don't even want to look at you anymore. Um, yeah. This is really good. I will eat these off camera. Legit. Oh. That's your seven snack this week. Um what I would say right now. If you like the uh, the uh, the melted ice pops that you used to have in the fridge, like the flavor ice when you were a kid, or flavor rice, I believe it's actually hyphenated. These are basically the closest thing you're going to get to them in a liquid form. And um, as for this monstrosity, with 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 the homeless guy on the top, that I'm pretty positive that I'm is not Santa Claus. I think it's Santa. Um, uh, Psychoscarapy, Home for the Holidays, comes to mind here. That that homeless guy that's not Santa Claus, yeah, this is not, this is not good. This is not good at all. Um, yeah, you can take this. I would dump this out right on camera, but I have nothing to dump it out into, so yeah. Buyer beware. If you like blue and medicine-y taste, yeah, that's probably good for you, but it just didn't work for me. The Little Bites are awesome. If you like the mini muffins that you get, like the blueberry muffins and the chocolate chip muffins, these are just like those, but they're done basically the cake and like the Funfetti. It's exactly what I said they were, so yeah, they're they're really good, so check those out. 
Oh, I still got the blue cream soda in my mouth. Ugh, yuck. So, uh, that being said, that is your Sip and Snack for this week. Next week, uh, join us for yet another edition of Sip and Snack. I will not tell you what's coming right now, because I honestly do not know. But once I do know, I will tweet it out to you guys. It may be energy drinks. It's possible. Uh, we may go uh, in the loop in a completely different way. But I'm not positive yet. Um, we have a lot of things still on the dance card for Sip and Snack. A lot of things I still have that I still have to put out there. Got some cookies to do. I got some other things. So... Still coming, more Sip and Snack, and like I said, when I get to Orlando, I got a lot of great surprises for you guys, and probably some uh, special guests joining Sip and Snack as well, so uh, stay tuned for that. Quick programming note, so it is Thursday, and go back and check out the Halloween Horror Nights podcast I did with James, Alex, and Tristan yesterday. You can check that out. It is on James's channel, but there is going to be a... Uh, a link in my Twitter, obviously. There was a link on my Twitter if you guys that watched it live or archived. It's not going to be in the description bar, but it'll actually be on my Twitter. And if you want to tweet me and find that information out, it's at, at Sir Owen Disney. While you're at it, obviously, you can check out my Facebook at Owen Disney. And while you're there, uh, check out our Facebook fan page here on Pop. It is Sir Owen Disney Pop or under Sir Owen Disney and Pop if you'd like to search for it manually. Also, programming note, Friday, tomorrow, we have AJ's Movie Reviews. It will be the reviews of Entourage, Insidious Chapter 3, and Spy, as well as Slow West. Saturday brings you a brand new edition of Gaming with Ash, and Sunday, brand new verses. Your cryptic comment is Cameron, and more Horror Nights news. A uh, little birdie told me that before the night's over, there's a possibility we might get an announcement. Stay tuned for that. And obviously we've broken information about Volcano Bay and Sapphire Falls has new concept art. And obviously going back to Kong and the fact that Universal's anniversary is actually this Sunday. So we have a lot of time left to uh, still mention some more information. NBC Sports Grill and Brew has been announced and I'm sure we're not done announcing things yet for Universal. Once we announce a bunch of stuff, uh, we will be doing a podcast all about Universal Orlando. And very soon we'll be doing a Halloween Horror Nights one as well. So, also, thank you for checking out the Raw and uh, Elimination Chamber podcast. We totally appreciate that. And I do want to state right now <laughs> my apologies for uh, the, uh, the sound in the background. Uh, we had the buzzing before, and then we had the... Uh, the uh, the, the snoring. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus, but yeah, we had that. So apologies for that. It's really late. You have to understand that, and uh, we'll do what we can. But if if it's there, then just uh, I mean, try to tune it out as best you can. Uh, we can't. No promises or anything. Um, real quick, I like I said, I just want to apologize for that. And um, I'm also going to say uh, thank you guys and girls out there for watching. If you have ideas for sip and snack or verses. Or for the vlog of randomness, which is on a sabbatical right now, but it will be returning sooner rather than later, you can uh, get at me. And while you're at it, if you are a theme park or wrestling podcast, would like me to be a part of your show one time or multiple times, or want to become a podcast yourself, you can join this brand new podcaster revolution we have. Got a lot of new blood here on Pop and um, a lot of new uh, people contributing to the channel through the various wrestling podcasts. And also the Halloween Horror Nights ones. And if you'd like to become part of that group, you're more than welcome to email me, sirowindisney at gmail.com. So in the meantime, I want to thank you guys and girls out there for watching. And until tomorrow, boys and girls, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs>